It's hot. That's better. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. This is going to be the more power edition of Friday's Finds. That's lots of... I, I've got some cool stuff for us today. Actually, I don't have too much cool stuff. It's hot. I got some powerful stuff. And the first thing we're gonna kick it off, cause it's hot. You got, we, we, we gotta have this one. This is the portable waste fan. Not waste as in trash, waste as in on your belt kind of waste. Let's take a look at this. This is from, I don't know who this is from. Doesn't matter, it's hot. It's a small waste clip fan. We have lots of instructions. It's too hot, I don't have time for that. Power cord, lanyard, so you can hang it around your neck. The big reveal. And when Yappy saw this box, she, she said, is that a joke? I said, well, not at all. Because when it's really hot, any, any breeze. Two, three levels. Two, two different clips. You can clip it so that it blows up or you can clip it so that it blows down. I guess you, if your, your face is hot, you can... <laughs> Or, or better yet, here, let's do it this way. Well, it won't, that won't work. Here's how you use this. I have a breeze blowing up my shirt right now. <laughs> that feels really good. Ah, I see. So then you clip your shirt in there like that. That way you don't block. Then you have air blowing up your shirt. And I guess if, if it's real hot and you're real miserable, you know what I'm saying? Whew, that cools you down when you're really hot. I'm glad I have it. I know you will too. All right, let's, let's move on to the, oh, the next sponsored product. Wait a minute. Since this is the more power edition, hold on. Ah, there we go. Now maybe I won't be so sweaty. Several weeks back. We did the we we did the battery changeover on Trudy Thunder. We switched over to lithium iron phosphate batteries. We went from 136 pounds of batteries and about 100 usable amps to 30 26 pounds and 100 usable amps. And I, I cleaned all that space up. And somebody heard me say we're going to expand. I want to expand that to 400. And they reached out to me and they said, Hey, we want to make that happen. So our next sponsored product comes from Chin's Batteries. Hold on. Now I did an unbox. I had to shoot the unbox video the other day because the boxes that it came in had some kind of coating that just it was reeking. I don't know if I still have that footage. Unboxing the Chin batteries. The batteries arrived. I wasn't here when they arrived and I, I got a call from the wife from y Yappy called me and she said I don't know what you got but it smells really bad I'm just going on and on I, I don't know what you're talking about babe 
She said those batteries arrived and they smell bad. How do batteries smell bad? Anyway, that was yesterday. I got home today and she's right. They smell bad. They have actually have had something spilt on them. Smells like a cross between uh, super bubble bubble gum and downy fabric softener. And it's a sticky oily texture. It's gonna be a couple days before I get on to the project because as you can see, we have a rain weather pattern in progress. But but we can't have these inside because they smell. They're, they're giving us a headache. So I'm gonna unbox these. So you can see what we're doing, what we're working with. And there we have it. Cause that doesn't smell. This is the chins. It's a 12 volt, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, deep cycle, LiPo 4, lithium iron phosphate. That's right, more lithium iron phosphate batteries. Comes with a product manual. I'll be reading that before I get into my project. you keep an eye out for the the mounting hardware this is the chins 12.8 volt 100 amp hour life po 4 battery it's 1280 watt hours This battery measures seven inches by 13 inches by eight and a half. That's perfect. It came in with bolts. As you can see, they're not in, in here. And a really great product manual. Very well put together. It actually shows you wiring diagrams how to wire them up in series and parallel. Lots of information on Chins. Chins has actually been in the life, the lithium ion battery market for, I think it was like 2012, 2014, quite some time. The, this battery has a 4.6 star rating on Amazon. That's a really good battery. But not only did they send us the one, They sent us a two, a three, and a four. So we now have 400 
400 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. And we're going to put them in Trudy Thunder. We're going to wire them in parallel. And what that means is that we are going to... Here, let me flip all these around. To create a 400 amp hour battery bank, we need to connect all of our positives and positives to positives and negatives to negatives. That requires some electrical cable. So we have, you can actually buy electrical cable on Amazon. You can buy prefabricated. Uh, the shortest length you're going to get is 12 inches. Boy, that's some serious packaging. Number two AUG. So, our battery terminals are color coded, our wires color coded. So it's going to work out like this. We're going to have cables because it's going to fit in the battery bay just like this. That's the, that's the theory. And to make that happen, I need to put terminals on here. All of these products are found on Amazon. They'll, I'll include a link in the card above and in the description. Oh, hold on, I got sweat running down the back of my head. And in the, uh, and I'll include a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the on the Dude RV Gear recommendations for or Am, I, I, Amazon influencer page. So you don't have to go hunting for it all. I'm making it easy. We're going to put terminals, lugs, on these cables. Now look at there. Perfect set right there. I thought we had number four. There's two gauge. There's two aug. <laughs> There's a difference between gauge and aug. So we have a new sponsor for this edition, the more power edition of Friday's Finds. I already opened it up. I didn't have the camera set right. Oh, I don't, I don't guess I know what I'm doing. We are working with Them's can hydraulic crimper. So here, here's what I'm doing. I need to make six inch jumpers all the way across. I need three for each side. Now I have this inexpensive battery cable, two aught, number two size. I've got the number two ends that come with in the kit uh oh shrink wrap this is a hydraulic press so we're gonna squeeze that down more power i, I can't do the, the, the manual stuff too well so i need more power and in keeping with the more power theme i gotta i gotta cut that down so my little side cutters don't have enough power, but 
the Fiskers. Tree and shrub, it, this is twice, two times more cutting power. Power lever lopper. I need that out of the property anyway. This crazy weather is just making, a vid making video production a bit of a challenge. So we need to go from here to here. It actually works out to be about six inches. Gonna put the, the black insulator on. We're gonna put the red. Uh oh, wait a minute. We're doing red, so I need two reds. One red there. One red there. What a perfect fit. Look at that. Perfect fit. Close that. All right, so the, the off means it's closed. The on opens it back up. Nice and crimpy. All right, now I need to get the heat gun and shrink that down. That's what we're doing. Positive side complete. There is an instruction manual that comes with the hydraulic. This thing is awesome. I love it. Now I gotta do the negative side. More power to you. So we've I have got it all connected here. And when we in, when I install when it goes back into when it goes into Trudy Thunder, we're going to be connecting our electrical system on opposite points. So this is one giant battery now. So we'll have opposite points is where we connect it. 
Now I need an RV to put it in. One of the big concerns I've always had with our coach is we really don't have any way of knowing exactly how much battery bank, battery, how much power we have. And we got the little gauges that, the, anyway. Nothing really gives me, and, and sometimes I gotta get down on the floor because of where they put, put the thing. You'll, you, you'll see when we get over there. But we're going to, and also while we're working in the battery compartment, I am going to put in uh, a new battery monitor, monitor in addition to. And it, it, we'll see how it shows up, but it looks like this is a pretty simple one. We're going to install a shunt. We're going to be using the hydraulic press again when we put our shunt in all right i guess i better go find a motor home this is where we're going hold on figure out where to set that light so that it won't fall over that's where we're working down in that deep dark hole we now have 400 amp hours of lithium ion lithium iron batteries lipo 4 It didn't quite turn out the way I envisioned. And it was it was hard enough <laughs> working in this little space without a camera. So that's how it looks now. So I had to cheat a little bit and put one on top, even though this compartment measures 27 and a half and the batteries all lined up side by side are 27 I could not get a battery in and turned there's not enough room here to rotate it so I had to kind of cheat we're still we're still running parallel I just had to make the, the cables a little bit longer. So negative to negative. The negatives are all negative and positives are all positives. So I'm installing. I'm back out here at the RV. Working in the heat. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm working in the heat and I'm installing the LNX. LNX. 500 amp battery monitor it's pretty simple i haven't yet i've yet to get it calibrated though this is the negative going to the inverter then we have a little power lead looking in the battery bank here i need to move that power lead down to the main positive terminal for the battery bank and yes i will be i'm waiting on new cables to come in come in one aught cables come in that i'm going to be splicing the battery bank together with to the inside of this wall i made an executive decision i up the increase the the size of the wire because of the way I had, I'm having to put the batteries in here with the one on top. I'm having to do a, a relatively long run. So I decided to up to a much larger size as opposed to what I was running. Don't want to fire, don't you know? Deciding factors in going and, and changing what I'd already done was so that I could get better airflow around these batteries mainly just to help with keeping them just trying to keep them from getting too hot so I got the battery monitor mounted and I got it programmed so we're good there I really appreciate Linux sending that to us thank you so much now I know how much battery I really have and chins I can't say thank you enough, Chins, for sponsoring this edition of this 
more power edition of Friday's Fine. If you're working with a lithium battery bank and you need to make some big cables, you cannot go wrong with this hydraulic compression tool from Amazon. Amazon? Anyway, this worked perfectly. I, I made two different sets because I had to redo it. I didn't go big enough the first time. This is a heck of a deal right here. We have arrived at the end of this more power edition of Friday's Finds. And I learned some things. <laughs> I learned some painful lessons. Well, I learned one painful lesson. When your gut is telling you something's not right, it's not right. So, full disclosure, when I replaced the converter a few weeks back, I thought I had done it correct. I even was cheering. I did it! I did it! I did it! Well, actually, I missed a step. So, when I did the four battery upgrade, everything should have, it was smooth. Should have been smooth. I made one error on that. I, I didn't really get my wire, my cables big enough, but I corrected that. But I kept having an error that I couldn't figure out. The, I actually kept having two different errors. Uh, it's like the batteries weren't charging. And I'd go through and I'd troubleshoot it all. And, it, and, and a, a result, I spent three hours in the middle of the afternoon troubleshooting, trying to figure out Where's, why is this not charging? And I ended up doing that twice. And I kept thinking that it was a fuse or, or a bad connection in the battery bank. No, <laughs> I had failed to plug the charger into the back of the panel. And so the only charge that the batteries would get one would be when I, when the sun came out. I wasn't getting any other charge on the, the 400 amp battery bike. The Chins batteries are great. Thank you, Chins, for sponsoring this. The other error that I kept getting that was throwing me off, well, the, the little, it's, they call it the remote. So the inverter is in a bay and the remote is inside. And for whatever reason, that thing wasn't, it wasn't kicking on. The inverter on the little remote wasn't kicking on and it, it finally dawned on me that well maybe there's a, a wiring issue with them and, and that was after I found the the plug not plugged in turns out when they assembled the coach they had pinched that wire that goes to the inverter so it was that the, the control actually worked but I didn't have any it, it didn't light up if you look at the inverter in the bay, it's working, but the little remote wasn't showing any data. So I spliced that all back together. Now everything works just as it's supposed to. <laughs> so uh, I didn't get solar put on because I'm waiting on an upgraded inverter. We'll be we'll be doing a a video on that. Uh, not sure when it's supposed to be 108 degrees for the next several days and so that's 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 an upcoming video but anyway I want to I want to thank y'all for staying with me through this point and I want to thank the sponsors of the video because it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for their fantastic products the wire crimper, if you're working with some big cables, you got to have that tool. That thing just, it made life so much better. Chins batteries, I have nothing but good stuff to say about them. Uh, and compared to the where the prices were several years ago, you can't beat that value. And if you're considering it, you might want to make that move sooner rather than later based on the world economic situation. The, the price of lithium batteries here in the, in, the, in the Americas may be going up, just saying. And the battery monitor, that's going to make life so much better now that it's, it's at a higher position. Uh, there's an, there will be an upcoming video with me reworking that wall because I don't, I don't, I'm not happy with where some of my controls are. And, I don't like the way that wall is anyway that's a that's a whole nother video 
we're done with this edition of Friday's Finds. I'm just rambling now. Hey, if you have found some value or entertainment out of this video, I'd be, I'd really, I would really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up, posting a comment, and blasting me out across the social media sphere. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. We're real close to 20,000. Your help would be most appreciated. And for those of you who have been following along, by golly, I sure appreciate it. Thank you so much. And for my patrons, you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?